Hello, it's been a while. It's been a while since I have made a reaction video and that's primarily because my laptop was getting repaired. It gave up on me and sent me in a state of panic. But it's here now and it seems to be working. I hope it doesn't give up on me. Please don't give up on me. Since New Year's, I've had a list of the kind of reaction videos that I want to make, the things that I want to react to. But I thought, then how about we first complete what we picked up? which is The Haunting of Bly Manor. I started watching the show, I made two reaction videos to it, to the third and the fourth episode, I wanna say, and then I sort of put a pin on it, which is very uncharacteristic of me. So I thought, you know what, let's finish watching The Haunting of Bly Manor because I, honestly, I miss my girl, Flora, and my boo, Owen, <laughs> and I'm genuinely intrigued to see how the story unfolds. So let's watch, I think, it's the fifth episode that I'm gonna be picking the show up from. Yes, it's the fifth episode, which is called The Altar of the Dead. Without any further ado, let's, let's get into it. We can't count on our future either. No past, no future. How is it possible for somebody to be drunk and still look this cute? I know I'm getting distracted and I'm missing the point of this conversation that they're having, but that's the reason why I call him my boo. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to Paris. Thank you, then. I mean, you could, couldn't you? She doesn't want him to go. I don't either. <laughs> you could too. <laughs> why not? In the future? Okay, if Hannah doesn't accompany you, can I come? I'll call you later. God, I, I remember this from the previous episode. It's all good. And I also remember her saying that to Danny. She could tell that in that moment, Danny needed that affirmation. Uh, Owen Sharma. It's so nice to meet you. Ooh. Ooh. Young Owen, oh my god. Is it just me or does his mustache look fuller? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at this as an opportunity to hone my skills. In, in Paris, I was a sous chef, which means they only let me chop vegetables. Here, I'll be putting everything together myself. It'll be a, a, a great learning experience. You know, maybe I should write that down because I'm also in the process of looking for a job and I'm filling out job applications. I want to hone my skills. That's all I have. Off to go. Straight upstairs. Oh my God, who am I kidding? They haven't heard a word I've said all day. <laughs> How are things? Oh, well, you know, uh, same as always, Mom. This is the first time we're actually seeing Flora and Miles' parents. And I have to remind myself that I also have to keep a track of these shifting timelines because we're going to keep going back and forth. And I don't know if it's just me, but Hannah looks exactly the same in every timeline. Hello, Hannah. Lovely to see your face. And yours too, sir. <laughs> he was the father in The Haunting of Hill House. Oh, that show was tragic. Um, you'll bring those in directly, will you? Immediately. Don't like him. I loved him in The Haunting of Hill House, but this character, mm -mm. night and she's wearing the same clothes is she time traveling is this season four of dark Surely you're not walking back to town, surely. I'll arrange a ride, or take you myself. No, really, I'm... Or you can stay here, you know, for as long as you like. Forever, if you need to. I feel like there's weight in that statement. Like her ghost is gonna stay in this house after she's died. We really are time traveling, I think. What the hell? Well, we could 
forget our entire lives, which is like dying. So then, think about it. We can't count on our future either. I swear, if this is going to be like some dark shit, as in the show, the Netflix show, dark, I'm going to need to make notes. And I generally made notes for dark for all three seasons because it was so confusing. and then come back and try and act like everything is normal. That's not going to fly with me. Tell him. You talk to me like rubbish and I haven't heard from you in days. Read him down. Come here. Please. Don't fall for it, Rebecca. I don't even know who that was. I'm just, I'm deeper than I thought I could. I'm about to beat this bitch up. with these cracks. That's Rebecca. But we have to do it again. Why? You tell me. Somebody tell me. Here I'll be putting everything together myself. It'll be a great learning experience. Um... Wait, does she not know that she's time traveling? But you admitted he hasn't exactly been himself since his parents died. No, that's not what I meant. Not so many green grapes! What do you think you're doing? I wasn't expecting that. I can't even speak. What would you say to making your position live in? Oh, uh. uh. <laughs> Something tells me she's not she's not gonna leave anyway. You are told to have blind faith in God even though you can't see him. And you're told to have blind faith in your husband even if you hardly ever see him. But is that realistic? That's a profound comparison. Transition? <sighs> or something. <laughs> Let me get your opinion, Rebecca. More salt in the stew? What? Well, what are you stewing on? <laughs> I'm looking at this as an opportunity to hone my skills. In Paris, I was a sous chef, which means they only let me chop vegetables. Here, I'd be putting <laughs> together everything myself. It'd be a great learning experience. Hannah, I would be equally confused. Be careful. <laughs> I am just as confused as you, Hannah. Things that we're gonna be, you and I, in America. Oh, a lord and his lady. No, a queen and her stable boy. I knew he had a kink. I don't like how quiet it is. I feel like something is gonna happen. Some jump scare. There's no music or anything. Mm. I thought I said go back to bed. <laughs> What's with her face? That's the woman who killed you. Now wait, was that Rebecca's coast or Charlotte's coast? That's got to be Rebecca, because I remember Flora did make Rebecca a doll of herself. And I think this is that doll. Oh shit. Yeah, that's Rebecca. That is definitely Rebecca. Let me go! Let me go! You bitch! Let me go! I was right. So Peter is projecting himself through miles. I was right. I did say that before. In Flora's dollhouse, Peter was standing next to what seemed like miles. Is it possible that the ghost of Peter is possessing or in some weird way haunting miles or projecting himself through miles? 
think Rebecca is getting her revenge. What is that, Rebecca? What is that, Charlotte? I am so confused. <laughs> That's Rebecca. <laughs> I'm looking at this as an opportunity to hone my skill. In Paris, I was a sous chef, so I only cut veg. Having somebody else's dream. To sleep. To sleep her chance to dream. Hi. There's the rub. Okay, this is not time for you to get poetic, Owen. I need an explanation. <laughs> Flora is eight. And Miles. Something is wrong. With Miles. I didn't like that voice. Something happened to his voice. I'm free, Hannah! I am shooketh. <gasps> that's the crack she saw in that well, and that's why her neck was hurting because she broke her neck and she died. So have we been seeing the ghost of Anna all along? Mrs. Grace, what's happening? Somebody tell me. Miles, she's here, she's here, and she's even prettier than I imagined. Rebecca? Hi, Miles, it's nice to meet you. So pleased to meet you, my lady. I'm so sorry, I was, um, Goodness, I, I was miles away. <laughs> yes, sorry, Hannah Gross. It's a oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Oh. I'm sure Mrs. Clayton is eager to see the house. Yes. Right, well then, come along. Come on. Danny, girl, run away. I will go to Paris with you. Yes. Yes. I'll call you later. No, wait. Oh no. Wait. Please. All good. She changed her answer because she had seen what would happen to her, but nothing can change. Who had a curse to years 1987? You're at why? Miles is ten, floor is eight. You were. You were Hannah Gross. Hannah Gross. How do they manage to end every episode on such a poignant note? on such a sad, melancholic note. I may be confused as fuck by the end of this episode, but I am also now sad. What the hell? So Hannah has been traveling through different timelines, and then she's also seen that she would die at one point, which is why she sees that crack, and which is why her neck hurts, because she dies because her neck breaks. But then she wanted to change her answer and tell Owen that she would move with him to Paris, but it was too late. So now I am confused and sad. And I'm also now intrigued to see what happens in the next episode. It's like nothing makes sense anymore. This, this episode turned everything around. I thought we were going to get some answers about the costs or stuff, but we have time travel now. I am confusion. Okay, well... <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> I am still so confused and sad at the same time. But I will see you in my next video, which most probably will be the next episode of The Haunting of Blind Manor. Bye.